Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's iOS Update. This time out, a drum machine and a synthesizer to help you with your music making. Let's get started. Molten is a drum synthesizer app that allows you to create patterns very quickly and very easily. You can also create your own sounds. It has a powerful synthesis engine, built-in effects, so you can create a lot of music using just this very simple app. The way that Molten is set up is it has eight instruments. Those are synthesizer instruments, so we can go in here and actually modify those. We have control over the oscillator, the envelope, we have different effects, EQ, filtering, and then we have master effects as well. There's delay, there's reverb, an EQ, and a compressor that can be put on the master bus when you mix those together. As we step through the instruments, you can access all of the parameters for each of those instruments by just clicking on them here. Once you've established your instruments, you can start creating patterns. You have eight different lanes here, one for each instrument, and you simply add in hits by tapping. You can change the number of divisions by uh, scrolling here, so you can go up to a, a higher number of uh, divisions for any single beat if you want, or a lower number for that matter. We can add measures to the pattern. So we start out with one measure here, we can add a second measure, uh, which goes on to the next page, a third measure, up to four measures. So you can have up to 16 beats, and again, each of those beats can have its own number of subdivisions within it. Of course, we have control over tempo, we have control over the swing amount, and we can save and load patterns here. So we can load up some uh, different sounds. Those are some of the demo patterns that come along with Molten, but of course you can create your own sounds as well. Just load up an empty pattern or hit the settings button and hit clear and it will clear out the current pattern. And then you just have to tap in the grid to add in whatever sounds you want. Again, we can change the number of divisions. So we can add that in there. on the delay. So we have a lot of control over shaping the sounds as well once we've created our pattern. Now beyond those settings that we can access right here from the front panel, we also have a couple of menus that are important. We have the uh, settings menu where we set up the number of pages or which is the number of uh, measures in our pattern number of beats in each of those. We can set up swing there. Uh, but here's our export page where we can bounce the uh, pattern to an audio file. We can also bounce to a MIDI file which you can import into your computer. We can do audio copy and paste with other apps. We have a MIDI page where you can set up external MIDI control if you want to do that. Uh, there's a, a page here with the, the MIDI note assignments. So you have control over a lot of those parameters if you're using external gear along with the app. Our second app today is Crystal Synth XT. Now this is a version of a synthesizer that's been available for Mac and PC, but that's now available on iOS devices. Crystal Synth XT offers a lot of different synthesis power. You can get in there and do granular synthesis, FM synthesis, subtractive synthesis, a lot of things you can do, and it has a very interesting user interface. When you boot up Crystal Synth XT, it comes up in the performance page. The performance page allows you to play music right here from the screen, or of course you can plug in a MIDI keyboard as well. If you're playing from the screen, you have a, a graphic here that's divided to represent the different notes in a scale. Now we can set the key we're playing in by clicking here, and you have the uh, 12 keys are there. We can also set the scale that we're playing in. So right now we're set for C major, we could set for uh, C Phrygian, we could change that to C Locrian, or whatever key and scale we want to work in. The controller interface allows us to do everything we need to do to make music right here from the screen. So we can play single notes. Here I'll play a C, D, another E here, an octave up. We can even play chords. It's a multi-touch sensitive uh, interface, so we can play a C chord, play an F chord,
We have a hold button for sustaining. You can change the octave. And where we have patches that are locked to tempo, we can also set the tempo down here. Along the right side of the screen is where we select our presets. So a lot of different types of sounds there. The way this is set up is we actually have three different voices that we're working with. So we have voice one, which is an entire synthesizer voice itself. We have a number of different oscillators available to us, lots of different sounds there. We can set that up for polyphonic operation, solo operation. We have a filter, we have an envelope, um, lots of different modulation options. Voice two and voice three are the same. And then we have a modulation page. Now we have tons of different modulation options here. So we can get in and really control parameters. We can modulate them with LFOs, different uh, controllers as well. So lots you can do with modulation here. It's a very powerful synthesizer. Again, as I mentioned, everything from FM synthesis to granular synthesis. Now once you have each of those voices set up and the modulations routed the way you want, we have a mixer here that allows you to blend the three voices together. We also have a splitter that allows you to send all those voices to the different effects that are on board. We have those available down here and a lot of control over all that as well. Now, a couple of interesting things about Crystal Synth XT. The patches you create here are actually compatible with patches that are running on a computer. So you can either transfer the patches that you make here into your computer, or you could create a bank of patches in your computer, transfer them to your iOS device, and then take this out and use it at a gig. You can also record your performances in Crystal Synth XT. There's a record button right down here. When you've done that, you can use audio copy and audio paste to get the sound into other apps. One of the coolest features, though, is being able to morph between two different patches to create a new sound. So down here, you select the two patches that are your targets. We'll select wider pulse and uh, sync this. Click the breed button, and we get an entirely new patch. Click it again and we get another variation. So that's a great way to discover new sounds without having to do a lot of programming. In my opinion, Crystal Synth XT really excels at those evolving sounds, whether it's using wave synthesis or granular techniques. You can create really interesting textures and timbres using this synthesizer. I hope you've enjoyed this installment of Sweetwater's iOS update. Be sure to tune in next time. We'll have more apps, more hardware, and more tech tips on making music with your iOS devices. I'm Mitch Gallagher. <laughs>